How y'all doing? It's Zach from Real Healthy News, and today we are going to be doing an honest review and unboxing of Butcher Box. Now, if you are unsure of what Butcher Box is, they are a meat delivery service. It's basically like having your own personal butcher over the internet. It's really cool, but I've never done this before. So this is gonna be a 100% honest review. We're gonna unbox it, see what's inside, and we're just gonna talk a little bit about the quality of meat and also the price. Let's get to it. All right, guys, before I unbox this and show you what's inside, let's just talk real quick about the website. When you first go there, there's an option to put in your zip code and your address, and this just shows you what's available in your area and if they're even delivering to your area. So after you do all that, there is two options for different boxes. There is a box that you can choose to cut yourself. You can pick as many steaks as you want, whatever that may be. And then there's an option where they choose the meats for you. Now, the one where they choose the meats for you is less expensive. That's the one I chose because I was trying to figure out what I could afford in my budget and it seemed to work. So that's the one I picked. After you choose your box, you get the options for the size of the box. Now, this is how many pounds of meat come in the box. For me, the two options were eight to 11 pounds or 16 to 22 pounds. I chose the 16 to 22 pound range because I have a large freezer and I figured I could just stock up for the month ahead. Then after you pick the size of your box, you have the option to choose your frequency. So for me, I chose once a month because that's about what I need. This guy will ask me all month. And then if for some reason, you know, it's the end of the month and I haven't used up half of this meat, I can go back online and I can pause my delivery. So that way I can finish up this box before they send me a new one. Okay, so that's just a little bit about how the interface and their site works. So let's now get into the box and see what's inside. All right, so now we took everything out of the box. Let's just take a look and see what we got. We got four pounds of heritage raised pork chops. We've got four pounds of grass fed 85 15 ground beef. We've got six pounds of organic chicken breasts. Looks like we've got three pounds of grass fed sirloin cap. And finally, it looks like we got two and a half pounds of grass fed strip steak. So altogether, we've got 19 and a half pounds of fresh meat delivered right to my door. And that's pretty good, I'm happy with that. It says 16 to 22 pounds is what the estimate was in the box. So I'll take 19 and a half pounds. Now it's my first butcher box, like I said before, so I can't talk about the taste of the meat since this is all frozen and fresh, I have not cooked it. But let's talk about the quality of meat that they talk about on their website. Now all of their chicken is completely organic and free range, while all their pork is all heritage raised pork. Their beef is grass fed and grass finished. So this is all good quality meat. This is stuff you would spend a lot of money on going to your local grocery store to pick this stuff up. And I like the convenience of it coming right to my doorstep. Now some of these terms can get kind of confusing with grass fed and free range and heritage raised. So let's just explain a little bit about what this means with their quality of meat. So let's talk about the heritage raised pork first because to be honest, I had no idea what that meant before I opened a butcher box. And uh, I went on their website and kind of looked about their processes and their quality of meat. And here's what it says on their website. Heritage breed pigs are special. Their natural old world genetics mean that during their slow maturation process, they develop fine marbling and great flavor. So they also have them bedding in open barns. They give them outdoor access and also a nutritious diet. And they let them forage and give them an all vegetarian feed. So right off the bat, that sounds like a pretty good cut of meat. I've never even heard of heritage breed before, like I said, and I don't think you can get that at your grocery store. So I'm excited to try this out whenever we decide to cook it one night. But uh, for now, let's move on to beef. Now grass-fed is a term you've probably heard before. It's synonymous with organic and healthy eating and also higher price tags. ButcherBox says that all of their beef is grass-fed and grass-finished. Now what does that actually mean for you and your body when you eat it? So not only are they guaranteeing their beef is 100% grass fed and grass finished, but their cattle are also free to range on grassy pastures through their entire lives, eating their natural diet of grass. They graze year round and besides the delicious flavor that grass fed gives you, people can feel good about eating grass fed and grass finished beef. Not only is grass fed beef leaner, 
It's also higher in nutrients, including antioxidants, vitamins, and a beneficial fat called CLA that's been tied to improved immunity and anti-inflammation benefits. So again, we're talking about good quality cuts of meat here. This is stuff you'd pay a lot of money for in the grocery store. So lastly, let's talk about the chicken that came in this pack. So all of ButcherBox's chicken is 100% organic, free range. They have outdoor access with specialized enhancements. They also give them a nutritious diet, allowing them to forage and also give them a certified organic all vegetarian feed. It's also non-GMO. All right, now we've looked at everything they sent me and talked about the quality of the meat. Let's talk about the price. At 19 and a half pounds, this averaged out to be about $12.20 a pound. Now that might seem pricey when you're just talking about pound for pound cost. You can definitely get meat for cheaper than that at the grocery store, but considering the quality of this all being organic, free range grass fed, you're really paying for peace of mind that you're getting good quality meat, which is a big deal to a lot of people. And I could have used a service like this back in March when the coronavirus pandemic was ravaging the United States. I remember being out in the grocery store and not being able to find meat for, for weeks, just shelves completely being decimated. If I had a service like this, I wouldn't have had to worry about it. I could have it come right to my door and I could be set. The other thing to think about is if you live in like a highly urban area, maybe you don't have access to high quality meats. You don't have a Whole Foods right next door to you. You don't have some kind of way of getting meat this quality. This works for you too, because you can just have it shipped right to your door. Now this isn't for everybody. Maybe you're the type of person that lives in a rural area and you can just go to a cow farm and get a whole cow, no problem, and have the fresh meat right there. Um, or maybe you're someone that's really trying to be budget friendly. You really need to focus on cost over quality. Like I said, you can get meat a lot cheaper at their local grocery store. So if that's the case, this probably isn't for you. But for me, I think it's a great deal. I love having the peace of mind of it showing up right in my front door. If there's another pandemic and the shelves go wild, I know that I've got that meat coming delivered right to my house. And also, like I said before, I have a lot of freezer space, so I like the fact that I can postpone deliveries if I don't make it through this whole pack of meat in a month. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of this unboxing and honest review of ButcherBox. And I hope it kind of gave you some clarity and helped your decision if you and your family are thinking about buying a subscription. Be sure to visit realhealthynews.com where we go beyond the mainstream media to bring you real smart health news. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay up to date all the time. Thanks.